You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you really do it? Oh ho ho! You doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry, jeez. We get how strong you are? But what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The Shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. All right, then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> well, I am a well-experienced, grown-ass man, after all. You know you can always count on me. Somehow I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why would we tell you something like that? Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against Earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist up, Lila is... This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. Hey, Zavid. I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, Please, let me marry your little sister, and he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. <sighs> it all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My bad, my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper and Dezel's pendulum has been using earth and minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Is what I'd like to say. But I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, 
then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. Ugh. Why do you kill the Hellions? Well, hell's bells. Not one to mince words now, are you? It's not the sort of thing you need to beat around the bush about. Fair enough. Plain and simple, it's just my style. You mean killing? If I gotta. There are some out there who can't be purified. Yeah. There are Hellions who can't go back to their original form. But even so, Saray promised he'd find a way to bring them back. With Edna. How shepherdly of him. Well, if he can't find a way, then he needs to take responsibility. As long as he does that, it's fine. Taking responsibility? To kill, you mean? No, not exactly. Meaning he needs to find his own answer. <gasps> that was pretty wise of me, right? They love me, they love me not. They love me, they love me not. They love me... What is it you're trying to find out? You know how I joined halfway? And like, after I did a bunch of not-so-nice stuff to you guys? I kinda wonder if everyone hates me. Well, what did you find out? Well, it looks like... Yeah, everyone pretty much hates me. Oh, come now. Saray and the others aren't like that. Yeah, he is the shepherd and all. Not to mention kind of a goody two-shoes. So maybe it's kind of meaningful that a guy like me tags along. Even if I'm not exactly welcomed. Then I'll do a little reading myself to see if you're truly welcome among us. A paper flower? That means there's only one petal. Zavid is our... friend, it says. Uh... <laughs> It's just some dumb fortune. Maybe, but my fortunes are never wrong. Hey, Mr. Shepard, where's Lila and the others? They went to the sauna to relax. Oh, snap! Saray, let's set up the sauna! Eh, maybe later. Come on, don't be such a buzzkill! We men need to be open and comfortable about things like this. You know, a naked relationship. Well, you are always half-naked, Zavid. I may look like an exhibitionist when it comes to my body. But the door to my heart is always closed. That's why I wanted to take this time to bond with you. You know, like, as an accomplice. Don't tell me you're going to read the wind to snoop around the girl's sauna. Oh, -ho! you're pretty sharp after all, you no good shepherd, you. I don't think this is a good idea. Someone's definitely going to notice. I don't want to grow up to be the kind of guy who views everything as a win or lose situation. The trickling sweat, the flushed red cheeks. There is a healthy, sublime beauty in this closed space we call a sauna. Saray, let's go hunting for babes. Ah, <sighs> that sure was therapeutic. Why don't you guys step in as well? You mean like this? That's not the kind of babe hunting I'm talking about! Huh? Savid, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? I don't like that look on your face. Please, put some clothes on. It's just not right. I wish I could, toots, but it's part of my oath. Is that true? Yeah, that's the reason I've been traveling alone. It's not like you're the only one who's got an oath to follow, you know? You have one too, Edna? Yeah, to prevent my brother from leaving the mountains. I eat peanuts every day, an amount equal to my age. And I need to get a tan to shed a layer of skin at least once a month. Oh. I remember Dazzle saying something about an oath he had to keep his teeth all jaggedly sharp. I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> Look who's talking. But that's what the oath of the Seraphim is like, isn't it? Yes. We must keep the truth in our hearts. That's the nature of the oath. Uh, today's dinner was a little hard to swallow for growing boys like us. Even if you're not a youngin', this stuff is so... bland. I chose it so we could all have something healthier to eat for once. It looks like it wasn't well received, though. It's great that it's healthy and all, but this is too much of a good thing. Yeah, it's not very chewy or crunchy, very subtle in flavor. No matter how you look at it, it wasn't very satisfying. It certainly was quite a radical dinner. You didn't have to say that much about it. That really hurts. I've been working hard to make sure everyone's health stays in check. And not to mention our wallets. Whoa! Uh, hey, we don't blame you for anything. Isn't that right, Mikleo? 
Zavid? R right. We know how much you care for us out there. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for caring about us. Glad to have you by our side. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Now then, guess it's time for a second helping. Wait, so you only made this because it was what you really wanted to eat? It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright. Let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> look at that! All the way up here, even! Get back, Rose! It's a Hellion! Uh, what are you talking about? That! The red creature, get away from it! Um, seriously? It's just a crab. Just nothing! Look! That monster has eight legs! As crabs do. And big, fearsome pincer claw things. Very crab-like. And it's... it's got a pointy shell, and... And the little ones are running around, blowing bubbles, and... Definitely a crab. For real? For real. They're fairly common creatures of the sea. And for the record, they're delicious. You mean to say that this thing is all over the ocean? Yeah, I had no idea. Ugh. Seriously, your heads are full of the dumbest crap, and yet you've never heard of crabs? Well, you might be the same if you lived your whole life in a mountain village. Oh, Asus, Oasis, the very font of life. Goddess of the barren wastes, sucker to the parched. Surprise poetry reading? Now, now, Mickey, my boy. Surely as a water surf, you understand how precious water is in a place like this. Well, sure, I guess, but... Go on, Lila. I know you're just aching to plunge that smoldering fire seraph's skin into the cool crystal depths. I'll pass. Do enjoy your nice clean spring. Then Edna, come! It is only fitting that a seraph of the earth should join me as together we leap into this blessing from the land. No wonder you're a wind seraph. Your situational awareness blows. That... one's done. Then wash your tears in this very font of life. Yes. Yes, I think I will. just happened? It was like people in his family just... died. Looks like it. Pretty much all of them, one after another. Mm. It couldn't have been coincidence. Were they... murdered? <laughs> Saray, you were thinking about the Cardinal, weren't you? Just for a moment. If you're still unsure about it, why don't you go relax at an inn somewhere? I can make the problem go away. What are you saying? You can't purify Hellions on your own. But I can kill. But that's... Saray, if you hesitate, the enemy will pounce on your moment of weakness. Hasn't Zavid been saying the same thing? I don't want any of us to wind up getting hurt by sympathizing with the enemy. Are you saying that I'm holding the team back? Yep. Wait, Rose, Saray's just... Miklio, not now. I won't have second thoughts anymore. Well, I'm not saying not to have them. But if you're gonna do it, then stick to it. Yeah. Man, I didn't need to be so worried about them. 
I feel like an idiot. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, you're not like an idiot. That's, That's not, not what, what she meant. meant. 